Thank you very much. It's so nice to coming back to Asia because I was born in Asia. Also, I saw so many great design, Italy, US, or UK. But in Taipei Airport, it's very playful, very warm, very cute. It's very distinct to like a more human like a flavor, which makes me very, very happy. How to represent your idea, how to communicate, how to inspire really matters. Also, how to choose a language, visual, but the most important is the fundamental message. What's the message? Is it true? Or, uh, yeah. So, I'm from the MIT Media, and uh, that is a, a unique uh, place. Important things, we are very much interested about uh, how to make a transdisciplinary collaboration. Does not mean artist work with designer or engineer. Everybody has to be artist, designer, scientist, engineer, also entrepreneur, having all the hats in the brain, then switching rapidly. That's the only way to make a transdisciplinary stuff. Also, destructive innovation is something very, very difficult. But now, today, tidal wave of AI sweeping away most of the design and also uh, HGI. Many designers may be very scared. So many graphic design. You may not be anyone need it. Also, copywriter. So fundamentally, then who is responsible for what? How to really survive? How to justify your existence? Or design? That's a fundamental ontological question. So that's the reason I asked, is human-centered design still OK or not? So uh, my point is, uh, I was in uh, NTT uh, for my life, MIT, for uh, 17 years. I was a communication design engineer. How many people know Korea board? OK. This is after the World War II, but maybe, maybe somebody don't know it. So fundamentally, I was very keen about how to, uh, how to let people communicate, but also collaborate. Talking is important, but whiteboard really matters. How to use those kind of shared workspace to let people work together really matters. So this is a teamwork session I've done, done long, long ago. Also, you can see the clear board. That is uh, another uh, variation of the system you can draw through the uh, grass over distance. So how to bring, integrate interpersonal communication space and also the shared drawing surface is one of the key stuff I've done 30 years ago, 1990s. So you can see the team extension clear board. And also this is an installation I did in the ICC in Tokyo in 2000. It looks like drafting table, I'm drawing, but you can see my partner also drawing. Most important thing, more than eye contact, I can clearly see which portion your partner is gazing at. It's a non-verbal cue. I know I'm very shy because I'm Asian. You cannot take everything logically, but the subtle movement of gaze really matters. So the how to really convey non-verbal gesture cue is the key to uh, make communication different. But that's old work. But that's really trigger uh, uh, my continuation belief of the distancing. COVID-19 crisis made us so difficult. We are, to, we are forced to distance. But the important thing is I can't control distance. If I uh, meet, to, uh, meet Professor Zhang, I can always dance, negotiate distance, appropriate interpersonal distance. But the Zoom, you have no way, no controls. In com completely, we are losing controls. Also, uh, you have to separate from certain distance. So how to really regain the control of the distancing, something very important. That's the reason also we do some very creative stuff, which I introduce uh, later, tangible telepresence, how to uh, break the wall of the glass. So basically, uh, how many people do calligraphy? Oh, good. I, how many do painting? Watercolor? Oil? How many people have a sketchbook, sketching every day? Good, you're the designer, because you're creators. I do. And, uh, uh, but the important thing is those paintbrush really matters. So I, my dream is to make a paintbrush, let the kids or new generation paint their dream to externalize. And also I want to make a clay to let people sculpt their dream to make tangible. So that's something important. So let me go back a little bit about the more bigger framework of a digital. How many people know this guy? Nicholas Ponte. he's a founder of uh, uh, MIT Europe, and uh, he hit hunted me in 1994. And, uh, but the interesting thing, he said, don't continue anything you've done before, like a career board. It's OK, but uh, reboot, start completely new. It's a crazy challenge for untenured professor, but he challenged me. So I started tangible bits from scratch. But then I started being tangible. It's a counter movement. Being digital, digital is much better. Fox, Sucks. You shouldn't need the facts. Everything should be uh, digital. But I thought being tangible something profound, important things. But the most important thing is always value system is swinging. 
from Atom's bit, being a digital make a huge inspiration, in, in, uh, impact. Currently, people dancing in around DX, but it's old. It's already he did uh, in uh, 1995. Then I try to bring back to digital to tangible or physical because I want embodied interaction really important because you're analog being. But then VR AR came and the huge hype and somebody said metaverse, which now I don't know where it is. But uh, also great, I was invited uh, last year Puzzle X uh, in Barcelona. They came up a point about metaverse, not the metaverse. That's exactly what we think. Matter really matters. Physical stuff and, and augmented by digital seamlessly. So I think that's kind of future. So it's very important to think about what's the vision, what's the future, what you really believe, what you can really resonate. So we are at the seashore between many things, bits and atoms. For example, then uh, many people really believe, let's go, do you know this uh, deep sea diver? How many people are deep sea divers? <laughs> Metaphorically. How many people have this one at home? Okay. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Don't, don't, don't say, but uh, my dream is not this one. I don't want to dive in the sea. I want to stroll in the seashore. This is Sorora, uh, the amazing, beautiful painting, and he painted his wife and daughter enjoying strolling in the seashore, feeling the breeze, but uh, picking up the beautiful uh, uh, shells they bring back there. So also seeing the, each other's gates. That's the word. I don't wear the gas mask, I don't, uh, oxygen tank, or all the stuff to do so. so we have to have a very clear vision. What you're doing? What's the ideal natural human human interaction? But then I did this. So many people excited. Oh, we should go dive deeper, deeper, deeper. Then how 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 far you can go there? Then I did a scientific study, and uh, if you're whale, you can stay under the water 90 minutes. But the human is only two minutes, unless you buy some special gadget and the battery. Then you are not hungry, or you can anyway. So that's a kind of strange world. And of course, you can keep working about the more amazing cost-effective stuff, and, uh, and then you can do all the amazing uh, fashion design. But the important is the fundamental question. Ontological questions are important. To be a designer, you have to be a critical thinker. You can just chasing after beautiful stuff or selling stuff. And uh, I think uh, this is kind of a yesterday's tomorrow because nothing new. It's already talked, sci-fi, all the stuff. But uh, more important things, a fundamental interesting question. It's loading. Not yet loaded, but still loading, maybe. But the uh, important thing is somebody who reading this stuff said, this is much more natural interaction than this face face. It's also much more seamless convergence. Then you can also see that the avatar have a much better life, which I don't believe at all. Then most dangerous word, realistic and believable. Realistic means you can fake. Believable means you can mislead, misguide. I don't like escal area because human is not escal. It's a contradiction. But the world is dark. You know, so many criminals. Then they can exploit in a very, very effective way. More realistic, more believable. So it's easy to cheat than this. But there's no really way to do that. So naivety that is more natural or this is wrong, fundamentally wrong. But even this becomes better life. It's very naive. So important thing, you have to really ask question. It is true. Do you really make people really believe it? Well, rather than just a, a nice word. So social metaverse doesn't make sense for me. Digital toy makes sense. If you make a machine, you know full mechanism, sensor, actuation, when this uh, fluorescent light bulb may need a maintenance, you can communicate, that's really great. Or traffic control in the city, planning, but uh, people different. We have to really understand people. But then what I much prefer, I really like this one, aquarium. Uh, I'm sure Taiwan, you may have a beautiful aquarium, but so immersive. But still, you can really feel it. But also, I have a very great uh, experience of uh, Frida Kahlo's immersive art exhibition. Have you seen any of this stuff kind of stuff? Van Gogh and uh, uh, Kurim, many stuff. But this is amazing because they left small pieces of the photos or pieces, but they filled all the uh, empty space using imagination artists. They make a very special narrative, special, but also temporal. Also, like uh, in the entrance, Frida Kaoro said when she in a deathbed, she never want to come back to this life. It's so painful, uh, so profound. Her ending was so, but then go to the older story, it's move. So in which environment do you really move? Of course, content matters, narrative matters, but not necessarily technology, not necessarily Resolution of HMD. So anyway, I can keep talking forever, but uh, I have a, okay, good news. 
I have a lot of good things to talk today, but things life is short. I have only 45 minutes, so I have to condense. So I speak very fast, but uh, I can you can stop it. So tangibles, let's go, let's start. And uh, how many people use abacus even today to compute? Okay, nobody. Uh, I used to use Abacus in elementary school, but uh, this is a very powerful tool. And uh, because Abacus physically embodied the abstract notion called a digit into physical one, you can touch, feel, definitely exist, shake, musical instrument, toy train for baby, then you can scratch your back. <laughs> this doesn't require user's manual written by Google, Apple, or Meta Engineer. That's affordance you guys know very well. I saw all the beautiful design over there. And uh, by the way, uh, Professor Tan kindly uh, introduced also Dr. Leo. You kindly showed me all the amazing artifacts. It's beautiful. It's beauty comes from the body, physicality, materiality, and the meaning, not pixel. Uh, anyway, uh, so also it's a good idea to understand what being digital means, going to a museum. Always I really enjoy in Taiwan, Seoul, London, uh, to go to a museum of scientific historical instruments. Scientific historical instrument is all the representation of the scientific knowledge idea abandoned, being replaced by pixel. We lost so many things, but this is beautiful because this is uh, uh, orari, which, which is quite powerful because orari, how many people saw the orari? How many people actually grab and rotate and scroll it by the, uh, uh, I don't know, safety, uh, any security guides? But the important thing is once you grab the handle, you rotate, you become part of the solar system. No ambiguity about the causal chain of the movement of the planets, sun, and the winter, summer, uh, spring, and the fall. That clarity, engagement with body is missing in current digital world. It's very clear. It's decoupled. So also, you can clearly see where your teacher is looking at, where uh, this kid is looking at. Also, you know where I'm pointing at. I'm getting closer. Your attention goes here. That's the power of physicality. Um, by the way, uh, Dr. Leo and uh, Professor Zhang showed me the amazing, beautiful light sculpture, two like a circles. From a distance, I thought oh, it's eyeglass inside the far side, but coming closer, there's three land, so maybe for alien. Anyway, it's impo important things. Uh, those special stuff is something very important because we do cognition spatially. So let me introduce the uh, up. It's a fast system, Dr. John Tokarfa did it. It's an urban planning system, mainly to the city. So this shadow is digital shadow, not a computer shadow. We have a computational model, so you can clearly see how uh, this casts a shadow. But also changing the material from uh, bricks to the light, you can see the reflection. Also, you can see, okay, now it's a changing time of day, so that you can really see how inter shadow works. So this is one of the instances called uh, uh, urban planning. Object oriented step. Also, Sandscape is a more 2.5D sculpting interface. You sculpt the landscape using sound clay, but then machine captures the shape, geometry in real time. Then compute and paint based on the water drainage, how much sunlight uh, shines in this slope, for example. So giving a beautiful form for, for the light side of the brain, but also you can analyze using left side of the brain. So how do they combine those combinations into one? It's a dream of tangible media. Tangible, physical, but also computational, also analytical. So this is a, one of the pieces we reinstall, restored after 20 years of the invention of the soundscape for inauguration opening of MIT Museum last year. How many people went to MIT Museum? Oh, great. Please uh, take a look. This is the most popular piece. Also, many other stuff is very powerful. So, let me introduce the piece. I'm very happy. bottles which contains the music inside, like a perfume bottle, if you open it, that's come out. But the original reason is I want to make a present to my mom. So now you can hear the bird singing. When she wakes up, opens the bottle, she knows today's uh, fine weather, that she may stay in the bed a uh, few more hours. But uh, she passed away in 1998, so I designed this as a tribute to my mom.
Without painting, how many people still painting? Good. How many have amazing kids who love painting? <laughs> then sent to MIT or Harvard. <laughs> okay, so let, let, me, let me show the uh, IO brush, which really show the example. How many people saw this IO brush? No? When you see the world, you are inspired by beautiful color leaves. But then, how you express this amazing impression using this as a paintbrush ink? That is one of the goal. But uh, so we use digital technology, we can do more than analog ink. So you can see teddy bear, from which color came from. Where this ink came from matters in a, a sustainable world, upstream, downstream. But the more important stuff is now kids go beyond us. So that's an important moment. I really feel good to be an interaction designer. She went beyond my imagination. She never listened to my instruction, like a memory history. She just came up her own interpretation. That's a way to inspire the creativity, like a bootstrap. How many people do the computer music, play computer music, LT music, go to concert? Concert is great, but often from distance, only you see the musician having a laptop computer. You don't see the correlation causality chain of the movement of the trained musician's body movement, acoustic instrument, and resulting sound. We want to break it. So now you see blue icon, physical icon, that uh, represents microphone, but also two musicians using two hands, controlling all the parameters. So we decompose, make a new grammar of the computer music to legible graphical one using tangible interface. Then projecting this stuff in the wall, then people clearly see that the musician working hard. Why are you very impressed in the jam session? The real human interacting with the acoustic instrument, you see no ambiguity. But once the internet or machine is intermediate, you have no idea from where its music came from. It could be everything pre-recorded. Performance, performance is not doing anything, for example. So this is something important to, to us, but the good things we present in the Barcelona uh, NIME conference. So uh, our team, uh, James Park and Ben Lech's performance inspired uh, Sergio Jordan's team in Barcelona. Then they made a really great product called uh, React Table. How many people saw React Table? It's nice, used by many, many professional uh, musicians, which I'm very proud of that. Okay, this is Asia. How many people play ping pong? Seriously? Oh, good, still, still, keep playing. Good. Do you have a ping pong table here? Yes, okay. Anyway, uh, my point is uh, ping, pong, ping pong is kind of, kind of harsh game. You get a point by making your opponent make a mistake. It's a bit survival game in the MIT. But I want to make even like an interaction is fun, even you make a mistake, even ball hits a... Uh, uh, ball hits the net, you enjoy all the water ripple. So this is a social media I, we implemented before Facebook. We really want to change the dynamism of social interaction using uh, interactive surface, uh, using stuff. But also we have a, a kind of a hit the wall because physical materials is frozen. Floor, table, this stuff, it's okay, it's frozen. It never dance computationally. But uh, I thought we have only two materials in a simple way. Frozen materials, like a chair you're sitting, the pixel like this one, you can do anything. But uh, I want to make a new material called radical atoms. Third materials, dynamic, physical, and computational. It's crazy, but it's really crazy. So we built it. I like to show this kind of uh, trajectory of the stuff. By the way, radical atoms is a very abstract concept. It's very difficult to be accepted. Sustainable future, everybody says, oh yeah, great, it should be sustainable. But the uh, radical atom is really radical, changing a new way of thinking of the material. But the uh, good thing is Alcea Technica. How many people went to Alcea Technica? One of the best media, media arts uh, like a festival uh, on this planet in Linz, Austria. But the Gary Friedrich Stocker uh, took my radical atom as an entire banner of the entire festival. But also he came up with a really great uh, subtitle, The Alchemist Over Time. 
Of course, everybody uses Adobe, Adobe Creative uh, Suite. It's great. But everybody curve looks like a BJ curve or something because they govern. But if you invent a new gold, new paintbrush, become very new, new original. Why don't you start from the materials, paintbrush, ink? That's a spirit. It's a meta message. But I'm very happy that they're going to there uh, with all a bunch of students showing the amazing uh, old stuff plus new stuff, which I'd like to show some of them. By the way, these are all the online stuff, but uh, let me show how many people saw this piece. Okay, being here, being Taipei, and being London, or being Boston is some people dream. Of course you can do Zoom, but I can see you, I can hear you, but where you are, you do not believe the presence. Presence is something important. So how to break the barrier of the distance or screen, we invented this tangible telepresence using a shape display. Shape display is an example of radicalism. So this is one of the many applications of radical terms. But uh, you see the point. So Daniel Reitzinger is now manipulating and his stuff body is captured. But also you can alter, my hands is too small, but you can alter the hands appropriate for the task like this one. So this is a human augmentation or whatever. Also this is a machine, it's a robot. You can do many things. So uh, also you guys like uh, design and the expert, you do a lot of design. But uh, most in interesting part is I wish I could fast forward, but anyway, let's, let's wait. So you guys do 3D printing. 3D printing is great, but the most printed stuff go to landfill. But here you see, it's still alive, it's computing. All bar are constrained propagation, you know. So this is real, not printed stuff. So printing something a bit scary in terms of consumption, but also the mathematical equation, image as a physical stuff, you can sit on, you can make a pillow stuff. So that's important uh, uh, kind of uh, dimension that all the machines created took two years, but uh, we, are, we love to, to, to build something if you have a good vision. So we are inspired a lot by art. How many of you know triptych? This is a France Bacon triptych. So we made a kinetic uh, triptych called uh, Transform for Milan Design Week. This is a dance of old generation material, frozen atoms, red ball, and the radicals of white pins. So it looks like dancing, communicating, but they're not community at all, just mechanical. Then you can give energy to energize them. So I think uh, when we talk about uh, creativity, I think defining gravity is very important. Don't take it for anything granted. You are on the floor because of gravity. So you don't ask why I have to stuck on the floor because of gravity. But the asking question why you have to obey follow this constraints is very important. How many people saw the movie Interstellar? It's a beautiful movie. Once you go to Mars, you lose the gravity, you have to make it generate, you can tweak it. It's a totally new world. So we emulate the future of the anti-gravity material called Zero. You can put anywhere, stay there. Computer knows the exact location. They're using a whole effect, computer can control it. Then you can use all the space for the design space. But if it's scary, if power shortage, out of everything fall. Uh, if you're on the earth, if you're on the interstellar travel, no problem. We also care about the biological stuff. Many people talk about, uh, uh, yeah. So we did a bacillus subtilinato bacteria as a sensor and actuator to implement second skin, wrapping you, body, then breathe. Let me show the video. So in each flap, there's a million of the bacteria they are living, sensing the sweat of the dancers. Then open up the flap to make a ventilation of air to optimize performance of the each dancer. So this bacteria we cultivate in a wet lab. This is atomic scope microscope to measure those stuff to write a paper science. But uh, then machine, there's no machine to deposit exact amount of liquid. Uh, five years ago, so we built from scratch. But uh, how many bacteria have to be, which portion of your body really be informed by the science? So 
ultimate form of the presentation is human and the biome, bacteria dancing together. So now you see she's dancing with bacteria. So this is her wet map, sweat map, heat map, so heat map, and sweat map. These inform how to optimize the ventilation. We made a computer simulation optimize. Then this computation result is sent to the printer. The printer determines how many bacteria should plant to each flap. So this is art. This covers every aspect, biological science, sports science, and uh, also design, publication. But in the end, it must be to go to the level of the art to communicate people. So she danced. She said she would wear a change of the airflow while dancing, which also make her change the way she danced. Then she said to me, she felt like she's dancing with bacteria. That's very profound. You never find any patent. You never get any grant, government grant, or you never any scientific paper, but it's very poetic, beautiful. That we care, this, this kind of research. So bio is a new interface. That's an important problem. Nicholas Ponte said so, because after the uh, invention of the, all the gene like a sequencing, it changed the computer science. Understand this dramatic impact, very, very important as a designer. So let me show the uh, exhibition. We care about the exhibition. I really like Taiwan has so many great media design exhibition. Hope I can be invited someday. But uh, this biologic actually showing the function of the shape changing using a steam, the steamy robot. It's a basic layer. Then we made a machine to precisely deposit the required amount of the bacteria to the each target areas. This is something nature gave us. Then human. But uh, this mannequin wearing a biologic, blowing the steam, is very boring. Very boring. So we decided to have a party in the 30th anniversary of MIT Media celebrating our dream and also bacteria with a glass of champagne. So I really like uh, culture to really care about uh, how to exhibit the concept vision in a legible, inspiring form so the audience, kids, philosopher or designer or a future inventor get some inspiration. I'm sure TDRI is actually doing that stuff for the future. So I think uh, for me what matters to invent and inspire. Many people invent coming a new framework, new taxonomy or new theory, how to measure, how to justify your work. Some people, that's amazing conceptual art, very abstract, the meaning of life or whatever is fine. But the, unless it's combined, invention leads to the, something the artist form which inspire, stick to the heart, make people think differently. It doesn't exist. It doesn't last. In 100 years, nobody remembers it. So I think to do so, two things I really want to share with you. Be artistic and analytic. Some people are too analytic, too conceptual, it's okay. Some people are too artistic, but how to strike the balance is very important. To do so, you have to be both. Also, uh, be poetic and pragmatic. I think poetic is something important. It's different from beautiful, but the poet, poet is something so fundamental for narrative storytelling, which you guys already know it. I'm very inspired that these are two links. Then appear a third one, which is, wow. Then reflection on the table, like uh, those inspiration really foster the creative conversation. Uh, if it's a nice champagne or uh, sake or whatever. Uh, also, you know, Taiwan has a nice whiskey, so next time. Uh, <laughs> I like, I like uh, Yamazaki and Hakushu, but it's very scarce. I can't buy, I can't afford. MIT doesn't pay so well. Anyway, uh, art and science is something very, very important. So let me show the one project which really address this uh, blurring the boundary between. Dr. Xiao Xiao, she's a professor in Paris, is an account, accomplished pianist, but also hard of computer scientist. She played piano. She thought she can be remembered by piano. Now she's living in piano. But the key is moving based on the, her 
recorded the movement, then she can play with herself. Imagine this is a young Xiao Xiao. Actually, my daughter Alisa, she just went to college this year. Uh, but uh, young Xiao Xiao living in piano, then grown up Dr. Xiao Xiao playing the duet. You see young Xiao Xiao's hands here, key moving. So, sense of presence, young Xiao sitting in the same chair you occupy, but now grown up Xiao Xiao playing together. Then we came up with John. Imagine if your grandma was an amazing concert pianist play in New York, but the anniversary day, if you can invite her from heaven, downloading the living room piano, then let her play with the grandchildren. Is it great? That's the final topics I talk, terror absence. So art, design, science, technology, all important, but another separate one. Artist, work, engineer, doesn't make any sense. You have to speak all the language, at least understand language, then able to translate, then you have to come up with a vision, idea, which really in the centers. Do you know what this spiral came from? Hint, Barcelona. One more, Anthony Gaudi. Yeah. Okay, great, you know, Sagrada family, I love it. Barcelona, so beautiful. But this is an infinite loop. So you have to go in spiral very, very quickly. Don't get stuck. I like Taiwan Design Week, but why you have to say design? It got to be uh, include everything, and I like including. And also I like uh, Royal College of Art, they said art, but they're doing so much about design. So how the branding, how the name really matter? Some, sometimes they constrain the space, but the most important thing, you have to go all the spiral, very rapidly, to build the, this is another my favorite painting, do you know? It's a Tower of Babel by uh, Bruegels, and I went to both in the, uh, Vienna, and uh, also I thought most, most of them, but it's pretty beautiful. Basically, you, you go spiral, you, you can move, in, uh, 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 transcend to somewhere. I don't know if it's a heaven or whatever, but I think it's important to really understand the vision and change, world changing rapidly. Global warming, artificial intelligence, from own to shared culture, dramatically changing. All the effects adjust our trajectory. So vector to the Z might be changing dynamically. And uh, also I was very fortunate because my stuff tangible, not my dream, illusion. Nobody, even I myself couldn't believe it's tangible, but uh, I was lucky after uh, 30 years, finally it's recognized. If you have uh, any interest, you can really check uh, all the uh, talk and the slide over there about the trajectory. Also I did a lot of the, uh, stuff, but uh, I'd like to summarize what I've done in the past 30 years. Also summarize is important. Seamless media design, basically, Many stuff is incompatible. Long ago, Windows PC, no, <laughs> Windows and the Mac doesn't talk. And also video and the computer so separated. Also uh, AI engine, totally different, open AI and the Google. Uh, they, they never really share anything. So how to really make a seamless, integrate? That's the reason I did a clearable shared workspace and the interpersonal space. But then Nicholas Nkopotain said, don't continue, reboot. Then I started tangible, starting a bunch of those kind of stuff. But then I got stuck, oh my gosh. Atoms so inflexible, frozen. Why don't you hack atoms itself so that they can dance, dynamically change the shape and the property, computation to some extent, so we can synchronize. That's the radical atoms. But also I continue. Telepresence, I, like, I really believe being connected over distance matters, uh, like uh, in touch and in form. But then COVID-19 crisis hit. Then I realized, oh, co-presence is so important. Being together is something so important. But then I started thinking about, okay, let's go beyond it. Uh, beyond telepresence, which I call teleabsence, which I'd like to uh, talk. This is very crazy, so, but I'm crazy. So people are lonely. Everybody's lonely. People present, let's have a happy life, enjoy the life, be productive, but the illusion. Usually life is very difficult, complex also mortality and the depression. So this is a lonely planet. Loneliness is a pandemic. I had a, in UK government made a minister of the loneliness. Yeah, but that's a really big issue. And uh, like I, yeah, so we have to really think about something uh, about those stuff. Oh, I lost all my slides. Okay, something happened. It's interesting, but uh, don't worry. Technology never succeeds. So can, can you guys, help to restart 
Okay, great. Tele absence. That's great. Uh, so people die twice. First, when they die, then when they are forgotten. This is a universal concept, also Mexico, and also many artists. If you don't mention your name, remember, you are gone. But as far as still you're talking about you, or your idea, you can stay in the second life. It's very profound. So everybody has a dream. I want to keep remembering you. I don't want to forget you. But if you forget, you feel bad. Also, I'm afraid of being forgotten. Why are you lonely? Because you're forgotten. We are mortal, we will definitely die. But after this, still people remembering. If you think people can remember me, my existence has some positive meaning for the future, you feel much better. South Asia, how, how many of you know South Asia? Is anybody from Portuguese? It's a very profound word, and Portuguese, and uh, it's kind of origin of presence of the absence, and uh, the re meaning is the desire for beloved things, people or place made painful by its absence. I want to see that person again. I want to see that moment. I want to press, but that's all gone. No way to go back. But that makes so painful. But kind of pleasure to cherish your life. That's something very profound uh, concept and the vision which I'm now working on that. I saw the music, uh, Mirafug, Marvin Minsky. He was living in the piano but also he passed away. So two ghosts are playing each other. I want to hear you play the piano and join you in the duet. That's my wish dream. In the memorial service, we perform this one. Everybody cried. So the bottles, I want to hear the message you left in the bottom. In my case, poems my mom wrote. Here, uh, telephone, I want to talk to you and hear the sound that bring back the vivid memory of when you were with me. She never speak back because she's dead. I don't make any generative AI. It's against my uh, aesthetics. But I want to hear the sound of the kitchen in 1970s with maybe radio news or popular music. That's may bring me back to the time. I really enjoy the uh, together with family. Also, typewriter, I want to hear you type your favorite poems in the midnight. If I receive the favorite, my mom, like Hermann Hesse, for example. She never is a typewriter, she wrote, but uh, if somebody can send those messages, which really inspired me, then I may respond, say, this is my favorite phrase. So, uh, life is short. Oh, do you have some time? Wonderful, great. Uh, vision matters, but the vision is not the wishful thinking. Uh, nice to have. I think world peace is very important, but almost impossible. Every morning I wake up, I'm deeply depressed what's happening on this planet. I wish the world which has no war comes, but that's also illusion. Human beings never stop war. That's fundamental nature, same as unnecessary, being unnecessary. So we have to face the reality. So world peace is nice to say, but it's not a vision. Also, world is not sustainable. So many things broke in a much deeper level in the system dynamics. Jay Forrester, the limit to the growth in 1960s. After 50 years, we haven't done anything to really improve. So I think we have to really think about real vision, which really makes sense and keeps shed a light to the future. Many people work technology, also we love technology, but they get obsolete in one year, go to random field. The needs, of course, don't want to change it. People want to own the car. Well, on the Rolex, I'm actually using the most simple watch, but uh, anyway, sure, I'm so successful. But this is dramatically changing. It's not anymore. What you own, let's share it when you need it. That's more better. And uh, so dramatically, value system is changing. But now, AI is making a huge impact, especially creative, illustrator, graphic designer, storyteller, narrative stuff. So now we have to rethink about how to survive. Then they keep coping, eating your work, you publish. They're chasing after. Only the strategies keep running, keep escape, keep inventing new stuff, which nothing exists in the net. They have no data they can eat. If they don't eat data, you are safe. But keep running tough. You have to have a very nice uh, uh, sake, like uh, Santori Hakshu. But anyway, it's class. So important thing, think about, don't get stuck technology 
or use the user wants, of course, nice to be nice, nice uh, world, but the nice world is an illusion. It's not sustainable. So important things, world is not sustainable in various ways. Why? We also know the reason. It's pretty deep. So we have to really face with those stuff. So Alan K and a few other people say the future is not to predict, uh, but to invest, uh, invent. So I like uh, insight and, the for, uh, and the also uh, foresight, but the foresight is go beyond really invent creating more radical way. But to do so, we need an uh, ambition, embody, and inspire. We are lucky because you are the also expert of design to understand the articulate the problems coming up really great. Uh, oh my gosh. Thank you. Uh, what I'm talking about. Okay, science important, and that's nature, technology, the beautiful stuff. But uh, to coming up with the vision, it's labeled the philosophy, or Heidegger, or Weber, or art. The art really uh, you inspired. I have a lot of the example, but the most profound example is Hiroshima Shadow. How many people know Hiroshima Shadow? 1945, uh, atomic bomb was dropped in the Hiroshima. Then human was captured as a shadow on the stone. That's the presence of absence, which inspired me deeply about tele absence. So we start out, so in the end, you have to transcend it to the level of the art. So we have to be all, all dimension. That's my important message. So it's very important to have a dream. And uh, it's, for me, it's like a vision, but it's something uh, you can really translate to the real story, narrative, language, interactive experiences. And I uh, hope this Chinese character makes sense because we inherit uh, kanji a lot. But uh, I think that this is a driving force of the creation. Then I'm a stargazer. I look up star. Stargazer is a dreamer. People used to gaze using their naked eyes, but naked eye has a limitation. So people invented telescope, magnify your way to view something over distance, but then light in the city prevent us from stuff. Then went to the uh, observatory in a very high level, uh, high mountains. But the important things, sometimes breakthrough happen. How many people see the news, Voyager went beyond solar system, then move, oh great. It's an amazing moment, heliosphere. Voyager went to tra travel very alone, but finally she stopped feeling the wind from the solar system. I, I stopped feeling the solar wind anymore. Now it's the fresh uh, pressure of the interstellar materials. So I'm now getting the heliosphere. It's very romantic, poetic. Uh, if you have a uh, Hakushu or Yamazaki or any whatever. But anyway, important things now, she sent back this one. This is something important. You never look the earth from this point of view in a way like uh, uh, she did. Also, of course, Hubble Space Telecoms may very powerful. The point is, you see the world from your eyes, but uh, now eyes are decoupled, fly through the universe, then to see from any point of view. So that is the power of James Webb Space Telescope. This is also metaphorical, but unless you decouple, you are, I don't know, whatever centric uh, world, People could only see the world from their own perspective. That's a limitation. So you have to really think about enhance, expand, then escape. That's the reason TDRI and all you guys, we work together to have a real serious discussion, to expand the scope, to think about what's the real future, not get stuck in a dogma. Or a so what is dramatically changing? Digital convergence. Now AI, but uh, we have to really understand what's going. But also our life is limited. You have to really focus, heuristic focus. Which one I should really focus to do the work? Then when I die, we do not regret that we did something meaningful. If you jump to black hole, you can't leave any marks because black holes, black holes. One more drop of the water in the Pacific Ocean doesn't really leave any marks or changes. So you have to really think about how, what you are going to focus strategically to make your life exciting. 
So I can thank you know, uh, Professor Cao and uh, Dr. Leo and uh, Steve and uh, uh, Michael and all people. Thanks again. The staff is amazing, TDRI. So warm and uh, full of the hospitality. And uh, hope we can be the friends and uh, exchange. Also, you can invite me again. Then I can come back. Uh, this is today I want to thank. But uh, this plan of tomorrow, I'm going uh, to different space. So, and, uh, but uh, all together in 2100, perhaps, now it's, I don't know, some people live more, more than almost 100 years. But uh, allow me, if you have a, uh, live much longer, that's wonderful. So, but the important things, I always think about 2200, it's a bit symbolic, but all are gone. But uh, still people are living on this planet. I hope so. It's not the end of the earth. Our descendants living, for whom we are responsible. So my question is, what do you want to pass on to those living in 2200? How do you want to be remembered, if you care? What do you want your legacy to be? So that's a silly question I want to start thinking. Not think about what to eat for dinner or how to survive next uh, I don't be happy retirement, but uh, beyond our future. So I think that 2200 is a symbol to make us to think about for our future, to really uh, ask the fundamental question, why you are here today? Why I met you? Why I'm talking? My talk does have no meaning if you don't get inspired. But if something changes through your eyeglass, you see the world a bit differently after this lecture, I'm very happy. So life, that's that end point. But the future is never ending. Technology soon becomes obsolete. But the true vision is everlasting. So thank you for Michael to correcting the Chinese character kanji to the <laughs> appropriate uh, characters, yeah. So with this number 2200, I want to end my talk. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Of